Hey, good morning, YouTube. Well, it's another day for an active track, dynamic track, follow me, whatever you want to call it, test. I don't know if you saw my video from a little while ago. I did the Autel Evo versus the Mavic 2 Pro in a active track slash dynamic track slash follow me uh, mode to see if those drones could follow me from where I'm standing here down this little ravine, which goes pretty far down and then back up. So the Mavic 2 Pro did wonders and the Autel Evo not so great because the Autel Evo does not have the ability to follow a person up and down a hill. If you haven't seen that video, post the link below. You can check it out. It's below this video, the link. Now, after I posted that video, I had a bunch of requests for me to do the same thing again, but this time use the Peridonafi. And my response to everybody was, well, I can't use the Peridonafi because it has no obstacle avoidance. Those other drones had the ability to go around trees and not crash when I walked down this here hill. You see, there's trees there. So the response I got back from you viewers was, don't do it around the trees. Do it someplace where you just have a hill and there's no obstacles. So with that in mind, I'm out here today to please you, the viewers, and I have the Parrot and Affy and the Mavic 2 Pro, and I'm gonna do the exact same follow me thing. This time I might do it a little bit different. So enough chatting, let's get on with the test. All right, Mavic 2 Pro's down here, start it up and take it up in the air. I'm gonna take it up to 3.5 meters. All right, I'll take the drone forward. And then I'm going to spin it around to face me and adjust the camera so that I'm in the view. So now I have the screen record going. You should see the screen record moving it down. I'll try to get the little center on me. There we are. Now I'll go into active track. Now it says draw box around the subject. There we go. And hit the go button, which is on me. And now we're in active track and just to test it, I will walk this way and the drone will follow me this way and I'll walk this way and the drone follows me that way. All right, so <laughs> take a look at the height. The height is at the bottom, almost the bottom, a little bit left. You see H 3.4 meters. That's what you have to watch. Here's the active track. Let's see if it follows me down. Uh, where am I going? Is this where I want to go? Yes, it is where I want to go, I think. Oh, well. I think I'm going down the wrong path, but we'll see. <laughs> These rocks are sliding everywhere. If I slide on my ass, you'll see what the problem is. All right, so watch the height. Oh, we're already down to 2.6. It sees I'm going down, so it's coming down. And we jump down here. And I'm gonna head down even farther than I've done in previous videos. So I'm coming down. Still got me. It had to go over that little rock face. And now I'm gonna go down even farther. So I put a stick down there in the mud ahead of me and I'm gonna walk down to that stick. So height is two meters. The Mavic 2 Pro does have sensors on the bottom. So it's checking out the bottom to make sure it's not gonna run into anything as it follows me down here. It's coming down, coming down. So I'm all the way down. It's up there, but if I look back at it, oh, here it comes. <laughs> I look at it, it's like, okay, I'm coming down. No, I'm not, yes I am. So it, it's almost, you can see it's at zero and every now and then it goes below a meter. So I come down, what if I walk along the side here? What will it do then? Try not to uh, fall in the mud pile down here in the quagmire. So every now and then it goes down minus 0 0.4 meters. So it's going below the height that was before. So that's good. So that's a good test. All right, so there's no trees or anything around. And uh, let's see, I'll come back up. It's pretty low, it's right there. You can see it as I'm walking up. It's gotta go backwards. And what we don't wanna happen is it to fly into the rock face. And that's what I'm kind of worried with the anaphy when I do the anaphy, if it does it. See how low it is to the rock face? And uh, it's gonna rise, it's pretty smart. Going back up. There it is, it's doing its thing. All right. So we see that the Mavic 2 Pro, I got my mic cut on something. We see that the Mavic 2 Pro is pretty amazing. All right. And now a lot of people ask, what happens if I take this controller and I don't carry it with me? Because some people want to do rock climbing. Now it's going backwards. I'm just going to leave the controller here. Some people want to do rock climbing. So you need both hands to grab onto things. So what happens if I don't take the controller with me? All right. Can it still do the amazing follow me? It's easier to get down these rocks now this way. 
I can move a bit faster since I don't have a controller in my hand. All right. So hopefully it's still coming. It's there. I don't see the screen, so I can't see what's happening on the screen because obviously it's back up on the hill. But I'm going all the way down. Whoa, sliding down too. And uh, there it is. There's the Mavic 2 Pro. It came in, it followed me. So yeah, you could use it for like rock climbing. If you have to use both hands for something. If something happened that it was low on battery or whatever, it would just go back and land at the home point. So let's come back up really quick. There it is. Wow, that's pretty close to me now because I'm coming fast. It's got to figure out, look at that, look at how low it is. Hopefully you see behind you, Mavic, because there's a rock face there. All right, I'm going this way. Hopefully all your sensors are optimal. So it went backwards and it's following me sideways now. All right. Climb back up this hill. And uh, it's lower than me, but it's coming back up. All right, so walk over here, grab the controller. Yeah, Mavic 2 Pro. Incredible piece of technology, works really well. All right, so this drone's pretty much perfect for any sport you're gonna do, so let's try the Peridonafi. Peridonafi's down there, let's hit the takeoff button. And there we go, should go up. Nice. Let's go all the way straight up. Okay, let's take it forward a bit and spin it around and find me. Now go into follow me. So manual flight, we wanna go into follow me. There it is. Device GPS, it's good fly draw a box around me and uh, that's it subject is too close well excuse me i'll back you up how's that is that gone there we go so that's about it all right so here we go let's uh walk down the hill oh before we do that let's just make sure that this thing here follows me so i'm walking this way keeps on saying subject is too close well that's not my problem back up parrot and affy it's right there. You're the guy coming too close to me. <laughs> All right. So at least it's working though. That's the good thing. All right. We're going down this here uh, crazy little ramp. Go down here as I wipe out. Oh, 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 oh Peritonafi, you're lo losing me. Hang on. You better follow me. The drone is too low. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. It looks like it doesn't like the ground below to follow me. Hmm. Let's see if I stand up here. Okay, I'm standing up a bit. All right. Okay, so it sees me. Uh, let's see. If I fall down here, I think it, I have to get out there fast so it can see me. Is it going to smash into the ledge? Whoa, whoa, whoa it made it over. <laughs> All right, here we're going. The drone is too low. Well, that's not my problem. Raise yourself. I'm not the one who is controlling you, drone. At least it's following me. And take a look at the height. The height is at zero meters. It's up at the top left. So I started out at just over three meters and now I'm down to zero. So, and I gotta go down a bit more. Let's see. So I'm gonna turn around and look at this in a second. Here we go. Look at that. It followed me all the way down. Man, that's a good follow me on that because you can barely see me in the bushes. Look at where it is. <laughs> And this thing has no obstacle avoided, so it doesn't know there's like friggin' little leaves and stuff there. Okay, so the Anafi does follow you down. All right, let's go back up. I'm gonna come up fast. Now it's gonna fly backwards, but it's not gonna know. Oh, look at that, it went up. I didn't do that, it went up by itself. It saw that I came up, so it went up. Interesting. All right, so I'm going this way. Let's see, is it, does it sense there's a ground there? Ugh. All right. Oh, it has lost me coming up. So I'm over here, dude. Hello. Are you going to flick over to me? No. Okay, so the Peridonafi lost me. But that's all right. It almost had me there, so it's not too bad. And now, like I did with the, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro, I'm going to put this down right there. So is it going to still follow me this way and that way? Let's see. Yeah, it's got me. And it's going up and down. I'm not doing anything because I got no controller. I don't know if it's smart enough to come over here. Is this it? Yeah, that's where I went down. Still got me? All right. I don't have any controller, so I won't know this time. Looking back, I got to keep checking it now. If I hear a loud crash, I'll know it didn't make it. All right. 
going down, or it's either my body hitting the ground. All right, here we go, looking back. I don't think it's coming. Nope. It might still have me, but I don't think it has the ability to keep on following me past the... No, it doesn't. Going this way, come back up. So it stays exactly where it is. You can see it on the controller, on the screenshot. And then it follows me this way, I think. Has it still got me? Oh yeah, that's still got me. All right. So the Parrot and Affy will follow you with the controller, but will not follow you if you leave the controller in one spot and take off. So it's good to know. Anyways, enough of my ramblings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just remember that the Parrot and Affy is not very expensive compared to the Mavic 2 Pro. Hence, you get what you pay for. And the Parrot and Affy does have a 4K camera like the Mavic 2 Pro. The sensor is a bit smaller, but it does have the ability to look 90 degrees straight up which a lot of people think is pretty cool, especially in the follow me. And I will show you that right now, because I love this. All right, so there's the Parrot and Affy down there, and I can get those cool shots looking up at me as I walk away. Come on, come with me. Try not to kill yourself and hit everything. All right, so let me get it to land over here. And there we go. All right, YouTube land, hope you enjoyed that video of the Parrot and Affy and the Mavic 2 Pro. If you wanna see other comparison videos, well then post some comments below, tell me what you think. And if I have time in the future, I'll get around to it. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video with reviews and more comparisons. Take care.